They say winning ain't everything. Well, we don't have them tight conversations over here, man. Had that conversation with the losers. We trying to win at everything we do. Even in the loss, we don't see defeat. We see a lesson learned. Straight up. Look, I came into this world in 1978. The doc looked me in my face and knew I was something great. 45, 42 Prescott, that's where I'm from. Grew up in the slums around dope dealers and bums. As humble as I was, I adapted to my habitat. In my own lane, though. No. Far from where they crashing that dumb bar graduate. The game out of mass it. Served in the Navy, look. Y'all don't know the half of it. Pops passing no one. Moms passed last year. I know they up in heaven smiling down, crying mad tears. Cause they saw I'm making it. No telling where I'm taking it. My city been cursed, but I feel that I'm breaking it. Coached at Wayne High in 15 in one state. Seen the fork in the road and went straight. I know what I'm worth. I'm OG King Kirk, Brooklyn Nets gaming crew legend. Let's work. Hey, this is OG King Kirk, your host of the OG Two Cents podcast. Want to thank each and every one of you who have continued to support the, the podcast. We truly appreciate it. Been on a break for a while. Took some mental health time. Also, we had a long, uh, ex- a long good playoff run. Uh, so uh, that was that was great. Uh, but I want to thank everybody who's continued to, to support the podcast. It means a lot to us, and we're going to continue uh, forward. Uh, we're bringing you episodes each and every every Sunday. Um, make sure if you're watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, and share it. Also, all of the available streaming platforms will be in the description. Uh, give us that five-star rating. That helps us out. Uh, leave a review. And like I said, if you like the content, you like the podcast, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Um, Let's continue to stand up against any forms of social injustice and racism. Also, hashtag see more love. That's the Zenny way. Uh, Make sure, you know, let's just love everybody. Uh, It's what makes the world ultimately go round. Um, This episode is brought to you by Zenny Blocks. Make sure to armor your eyes with Zenny Blocks Virtual Clear Blue Blockers. It's important to protect your eyes from the harmful blue light from your digital screen. So you have less eye strain and that makes for better sleep and performance. Check them out at zenny.com slash gaming or follow them at Zenny Gaming on Twitter and Instagram. This episode, episode 72, a home in Brooklyn with shots. Uh, Connor Rodriguez is name. He goes by shots. Uh, he's a California native, uh, four-year NBA 2K League veteran, uh, a 2021 NBA 2K League All-Star, and he helped Nets GC, uh, helped lead Nets GC to an historic season uh, this year. He played as a starting center, uh, overall good guy, and guy has an amazing story, turned his life around tremendously, uh, here in Brooklyn in his first season. Uh, so without further ado, you know, Shots, how you doing today? Uh, it's all good, man. Uh, back in Cali, enjoying the beginning of the offseason right now. Now, as mentioned, you know, you're a four-year NBA 2K League vet, so to speak. Uh, but a lot of people know you. Some people don't know you. Uh, just give us your story and how you got to where you are today. Yeah, um, just a kid from Cali. Uh, Played a lot of 2K when I was growing up. Uh, after high school, I was working a normal job, and then the 2K league got announced, uh, and I just went for the league. And I've been in it since the first year, and uh, this I just finished my fourth season, the fourth year of the league, so I've been in the league every year. Uh, and I, I've been on four different teams in four different years, and I've been a lot of places, had a lot of fun, and have enjoyed the league a lot for sure. Okay, and and you talked about being on four different teams in four years. Obviously, a lot of things have to be going through your mind that you're in a different destination every year. And not only that, but you're one of the top players in the league. Uh, So just talk about that, but then also talk about uh, your career and thoughts on Brooklyn uh, at the end of the day. Yeah, um, it's it's been tough moving around. Like, I kind of embraced it after the last time coming to the Nets, but um, that's changing, so that's good. But just how it all started was just crazy with, with my first team on the Blazers. Uh, you could only protect two players in the expansion draft that year, and I had two MVP candidates as my teammates. So 
I felt like I was just unlucky and I feel like it was just unlucky for the team to not be able to keep all three of us because we had something special there for sure. Uh, so that one was that one was hard. You know, that was tough off the gate uh, to kind of deal with. But I went to Atlanta and it didn't go that well there. Um, and quickly, you know, they traded me or whatever after the season. And I went to the Kings and that's where I thought I was going to stay because I was close to home. It was, you know, it was, it was nice being home. Uh, being really like it's pretty much the closest team to my home so that was really nice that was really cool and then unexpectedly they traded me so then you know to Brooklyn and Brooklyn um, it's crazy man because like to be honest a lot of people they're like oh this ain't gonna work out for you man like you're just gonna get traded again and blah 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 and I don't know there I had confidence in it the whole time like you know what I'm gonna go here and like I feel like I'm gonna like New York I feel like I'm gonna like the team and that's exactly what happened so um, I actually kind of miss New York already, so uh, definitely looking going, looking forward to go back. So, uh, but it's just been it was a great season. I think it was a special season, uh, not only on the court but off the court as well. Just for me and and as a team on the court, uh, we did way better than what people thought. And to me, that's a successful season. I got you. Now we're going to get to that point. Um, you know, you mentioned like in Brooklyn, New York, and everything like that, but. You know, you had an uh, an extreme makeover uh, as, as you arrived uh, to Brooklyn. I mean, you you know, you looked a certain way, and then after about, I guess, three or four weeks that went by, you came in and I noticed a drastic change. Um, you said you had lost thirty pounds at that point, and uh, it was good enough. And I had to do a double take, and I was like, "Damn, shots like, like, man, what's going on?" And you know, you told me and not only did it do wonders for you, but it inspired me uh, to the point where I jumped on board, uh, you know, along with you, Chuck, Slade, like everybody who was actively working out any way they could, uh, it put me in that mode. And, and with you, I, I don't want to tell too much of, the, of, of, of what you did. I want you to tell it, but you got me doing a ton of cardio. And I didn't never really like doing cardio. I think most guys don't like doing cardio, but, um, the weight just got to falling off. And then a mixture of uh, Chalk's diet, which is all gluten-free, uh, I started entertaining that. And now between the combination of Chalk's diet and you, what you did in working out, uh, it's, it's done the same for me. And I've lost now like over 60 pounds. So uh, talk about your transformation, what inspired it, and what you did to, to keep going. Yeah, so um... – I always kind of tell this, it's really, I blame the, the it's kind of, I, it's the league's fault in a way, uh, because I was in New York just sitting there. We were waiting for the league build. I know you remember. And as a team, we were just weren't doing much. Like we were, you know, we, there wasn't much to do. Like it was before, we you know, we, we can't touch a game. So, man, I sat there and not in those weeks, like two or three weeks when we weren't playing the game, I sat there and did nothing and it was bad. And like, I feel like during those two to three weeks when I was sitting there, I'm like, you know, I got to do something like, there's no way I'm just sitting here wasting my day, like waiting for waiting to play the game pretty much. Like I could do so much more. And then I don't know. I just started, I started walking a little bit like towards the end of that month. That was like at the end of April. And then, you know, I was like, I was like, you know what, in May, I'm going to just set a daily goal and then I'm going to go for it and then see what happens. And like a week goes by and, and I, I was already seeing results. So I was like, you know what, I, the, the results, that's what hooked me. Like right away. I seen, I lost like, like, wow, I really lost that much. I didn't even work that hard. Like, I didn't do that much like so then it started with that and then it started with changing the way I eat a little bit I wasn't really eating like horrible but I wasn't eating good either but now I ever since then like through the middle of the season now I eat pretty well like I don't eat too bad I'm not, I don't diet but just watching what I eat and not eating as much um, but really just I think it was those three weeks just sitting around and I was like you know what? it's time for a change and that was pretty much like that was pretty much it. Like it was just, it's long overdue and I, I needed to change and what the perfect, the perfect city to do it into. So at this point, I mean, I know you say you, you was walking like 10 miles a day and yeah, I mean, I thought that was incredible. I mean, still to be able to do that sometimes before practice and then after practice and still be able to, to play at a high level is, is, is really impressive. Uh, how, what is your total weight loss uh, at this point? Uh, like right now, I think uh, it's, I think 60, I think 60 or 65. I'm like right around 205. And I was like two, I was like two set, like almost 270. So it's like right around 65 right now. Um, but I have the, the more impressive one for me that I care about more is the body fat percentage. I've lost 
body fat percentage since May. So that's a big one for me. Okay. Now, what workouts are you doing um, at home right now? Um, I pretty much like I wake up at 6 a.m. I'll go on a run, go on a two mile run. I'll come back, take a quick little break. Uh, I'll take Char I'll take my dog Charlie on a walk. I'll take him like a mile and a half or so because he 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 can't hang that long. He'll get tired. So and I'll take him back to the, I'll take him back to the crib, drop him off, and then I'll usually go like about five and five and a half more miles. So by 10, I, by 10 a.m., I'm usually at nine miles. Like, that's my goal. Uh, so, like, right now, we're talking right now. I just finished my nine miles. So uh, I'll come back to the house. I'll take a break. And then from, like, 10.30 to 3, like, I'll just do a bunch of different stuff. Like, I'll mix it up. Like, but it's nonstop the whole time. Like, have Peloton here. So I'll usually do one or two Peloton workouts. Um, and those are killer. Um, I have a bunch of free weights. Uh, hit different different parts of my arms every day uh jump ropes have been a big one for me i'll do i'll do like 20 minutes of free jump rope and then i'll do like a 20 minute workout uh the pool swimming has been huge too which i'm not looking for the pool our pool's not heated so here in a couple of weeks the pool's not gonna be it's gonna be too cold so i'm trying to trying to use the pool as much as i can before you know it gets too cold outside but the pool's been the pool's been nice so just doing a bunch of different stuff um i do push-ups planks all that all like body exercises stuff like that so just every day, like I've been doing six to three and it's, it's been working. So I'm, I'm really in a routine right now. So it's, it's been working for me. Gotcha. 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 Now this is a two part question. You know, I want to know, you know, what did it, this season mean to you personally? And then how did it feel being back on the stage? Because you were one of only, we've only had two players on our, that, on our, on that roster that had ever really played on the stage. So uh, just, talk about that yeah this season uh it, it was my favorite season uh, and I think I, I said that kind of to but I've said that to a different few different people already but uh this year I had the most success on the court and off the court I've had any year um we we made a great run I mean in tournaments we didn't do as well as we wanted to and I think that's gonna be a big goal for next year uh but just making that run in the playoffs, like that was that was fun to be a part of. Uh, even losing, you know, we lost, end up losing to the Wizards in the Eastern Conference Finals. But just to win two series, I mean, I had never won. I never got out the first round of the playoffs before this year. So, uh, just winning two series in the playoffs was huge. We came away, you know, some some decent money. Uh, and then individually being selected to All Star game, that's huge. Like I never really had any any accolades or official awards before like this season. So being a part and that's the first it's gonna be the first all-star game so being a part of that's just really cool and and then being on stage man I, I I missed it more than what I thought I did I I miss it a little bit and but I was kind of like you know it's just, it's just a stage it's whatever like because for me I play the same regardless and usually I don't get into like the whole yelling type of things but this time around like I, I yelled a little like I felt more energized this time like I don't know it's maybe because I just haven't been on there in a long time or we were just playing really good I think it was a mixture of both uh and I had and we I was playing good too so it just kind of all you know, all went together and, and we, I had chances to like get up and get hype and yell cause we were playing good. So, uh, but just being on the stage, it felt great, man. I can't wait for that next year as well. No, I mean, two things, you know, the, the, you mentioned like, you know, you're an all-star and when you found out, like, what was your initial feeling, uh, after, you know, cause obviously being an all-star, I mean, this is like the next thing after, all league teams like but this being the very first all-star game you know how did it hit you when, once you found out the news I mean to be honest I was surprised but not because I made it because I felt I, I felt like I did enough to make it but I was just surprised that I actually got picked like I I, I kind of said I never had got picked for nothing so it's just sometimes you just expect for me that's my mindset I just expect it not to happen even though I, I know that it can like I was capable of getting picked for it but I re to be honest, I really didn't think it would would happen. So when it happened, I was just like, I was relieved first off because I, I was just, I'm just happy to be a part of it. So I was a little relieved, like, wow, I actually made it. Like, just relieved and actually surprised that that I made it. But uh, it was a great year. So I, I think it was deserved. Uh, and and we had a lot of, you know, had a lot of good moments. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Now, you know, we always say off season, but we know in the world of 2K. Is is really no off season. So, um, how have you been? You know, managing your time between continuing to work out. Um, you know, you do some other things and 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 still be playing two K. Like, 
how's your off season been going since you've been back in California? Yeah, uh, it's it's 2K just came out, so I'm not a guy like I was never even before the whole workout thing. I was never big on like just playing like crazy amount when the game came out because I feel like there's a lot of things wrong with the game. Uh, and just like it's a little it's just a little lagging like stuff like like little things like that like I know like I'm not going to really get better playing that so like for right now I've just been mostly hopping on playing my career and just getting my badges get try to get my player you know as close as ready uh, for the tournaments and stuff that matters so for me I don't know it's it's a little different I think as a center too I think as a guard like you want to play the game a lot early uh, as a center like I you kind of know like what you're getting and I don't think like I've played the game like I've even played I still play every night but I'm not like playing all day. So I, maybe I don't know as much as other people right now, but I don't think there's that much like they can, they can get ahead at, as a center than I can. Like I still play the game. I still like center's pretty, you know, it's all, it's all about the, all about the, the, the decisions you make in the game and IQ pretty much like over stick matters too as well. But I think it goes hand in hand. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to fall behind on the game, but I'm going to definitely begin on the game more like once we get into the, the pro amps, the pro am mode, like, you know, seasons every night, tournaments every night. So that's what I'm really like kind of wait. I'm not going to overextend myself right now playing my career and playing laggy wreck and stuff like that. So I'll just wait for when it's time to lock in to like really get into it. So. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now you got a podcast, but you're not alone on the podcast. I want you to mm -hmm. let people know the name, the whole brand, how it came to be and, and what do you talk about on the podcast? Yeah. So I got a podcast. Um, it's called shots and pops. It's with my dad. Um, uh, and we'll have guests on it time to time, but me and my dad are too, always on there. Uh, my sister, Amanda, she actually edits it and does all the, all the producing. She runs a Twitter, all that. So it's truly, truly a family thing. Uh, and we do it, you know, once a week and really just talk about just talk about anything really sports and, and 2k league for the most part um and we just kind of started because i don't know we we just felt like doing it we we had my dad had said one time like we always talk about you know we debate about stuff all the time like and we do every day like whenever you know we debate about sports whatever just anything we'll de literally debate about anything so he was like you know what let's just let's make a podcast and see you know how it is and and how we like it and you know we'll just debate go on there talk about 2k league talk about sports and I think it was really cool for me doing it in New York so then like once a week I still got to connect with them doing the podcast like I would talk to them you know once a week doing the podcast so I think that was really cool so I uh, definitely continue and look forward to do it good man good uh, I think it's a pretty dope concept like I said I just found out that it was fully a, a family-led uh production so that, i mean that makes it even better uh before we get to og wants to know um i just want to you know a lot of times people look at, at, at gamers and, and people trying to, to pursue a, a professional career but i just wonder like you know with you and your parents like how how has family support really carried you through your career yeah um so, i mean support's great obviously uh, I think at first it was just a thing where when I was always playing the game and, and, you know, I, it was the thing, the, the rule was always, you got to have a job or you got to be in school. So if you're not in school or you're, you don't got a job, you're not living in the house. So I always had a job. So that was the thing. I always worked. So my parents knew I worked. So, um, but just when the league had got announced and, you know, I was working a full-time job, but, but I was, they knew that, especially my dad, like he knew that I was good at the game. And both of them knew, like, I spent a lot of time playing the game. So when it came – when it just – they told me to go for it, and they supported me all the way for it. And I made it the first season, and and I've been in ever since, and they've been supporting me ever since. And it, it means a lot to have the support. But I think it was good for me to have the support. But before the league, they, they supported me, but they were like, you got to make sure your stuff's straight. Like, you got to make sure you're doing this, you're doing that. So I think tough love is always like the best love. So I think I got a lot of tough love, especially before the, before they seen that I can make it into a career. Like, Oh, you're wasting time on the game and blah, blah. But I was like, just be patient. You know, we'll see like blah, blah. blah. And, and it working out. So uh, just, but they always supported me even before that. So just having support along the way is definitely, you know, it makes everything, it, it it's great. And it makes everything easier too. Gotcha. Now at this portion of the show, it's called OG wants to know. It's rapid fire questions. Answer open and honestly as possible. No pressure. 
<laughs> biggest influence. Man. I'd probably say my dad. Okay. What motivates you? Results. The big biggest misconception about shots. That I'm a tweak. <laughs> favorite favorite NFL player of all time? Uh LaDainian Thomason. Okay. Favorite quote? Ooh. Man. Favorite quote. Um, I don't know about that one. That one's tough, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, favorite actor and actress? Favorite actor? Um, probably Denzel Washington. Actress? Actress, I like Scarlett Johansson. My bad. Favorite favorite two K. Ooh, that's a great question. I'd probably say two K seventeen, but uh, pre patch, pre patch. Gotcha. Uh, favorite genre of music. Rap, hip hop. Okay. Favorite movie of all time. Ooh, that's a good one. Um. Favorite movie of all time. I probably have to go with Hangover. That's a good. That's a good one. Favorite NFL team. Chargers. One and zero. And fa favorite place that you get, that you liked in Brooklyn. What What do you mean by place? Like anywhere. It could be. A, it could be. Oh. Like, oh. Like okay. Places used to walk. I got. Walk, you. I got different one. Things like yeah. That. I got one. Brooklyn Bridge Park. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, before you get out of here, Shots, I want you to give some advice to any up-and-coming player that's looking uh, to be in your shoes and become a professional. Uh, what is some advice that you want to give them? Yeah, I would just say you can compete, compete in as many leagues, tourneys as you can, just, just so you can showcase uh, your talents pretty much. You just got to get on the court as much as you can, I think is the first thing. And then I think the second and third thing would be just keep working and don't worry about like outside things. Like just just play your game, and if you're good, you're gonna get you're gonna get noticed, and you'll eventually get picked. Like the results will, if you're good, someone's gonna someone will end up seeing. And then the third one I see is don't do too don't do too much. I think a lot of players every year eliminate themselves just by doing too much, whether that's on Twitter or anywhere. Like I think doing too much is like a big thing that a lot of, a lot of guys do. Okay, now. I don't want to take too much credit for this, but I want you to plug your socials. And now you got an additional uh, handle and place where you can find shots now. So not only plug your socials and everything like that, but plug the podcast. Let everybody know where they can find that as well. Yeah. So you can find me on Twitter, shots, S H O T Z underscore. Instagram is shots, S H O T Z underscore 40. Uh, so just the, the four zero on, on IG. And then you can follow Shots and Pops on Twitter, S-H-O-T-Z, the letter N-P-O-P-Z, and that's on Twitter. One last thing, Shots. Mm -hmm. Where did your name come from? Like, where did you get Shots from? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. Uh, so I used to play Call of Duty, and I actually had Shots, like, in Call of Duty. Because like, I used to do trick shotting, like, you know, nerd stuff like that back when, when, I, was a, when I was a COD nerd, when I was a kid. Um, but then it's crazy. I started playing. So I started playing with Dimes in 2K12. Like Dimes found me in this like league and we started playing team up together. And I was like, I greened every shot. So like everyone just like, it just kind of stuck. It was, I already kind of had it. And then I just made it just shots. So it, it turned, it was dad boy shots, XL. We had, I have a bunch of different variations, but it was just cause I had played COD and then like, I was actually a really good shooter. Like that's when I, that's what everyone first knew me for was just like green in every shot. So it, it just kind of stuck. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate you, Shots. Glad you're in Brooklyn. Hell of a year. Um, I want everybody to be looking out for him uh, uh, and him and Shock uh, for the All-Star game. That's September 25th. Uh, you can find that on NBA 2K League broadcast. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash NBA 2K League and youtube.com slash NBA 2K League. I think the, the time, uh, I'll be letting that be known in the description. Uh, but 
Make sure you tune in September 25th. I want to say it's at 7 p.m. if I'm not mistaken. But I'll make sure I have the correct time in the description. Shots, I want to thank you for coming on. Uh, appreciate, appreciate you. you. Hey, keep uh, keep up the good work. Hey, I'm hey, I'm I'm right with you. I, I'm still yep. in the gym every day. I'm still getting my cardio in. So uh, I'll be in touch, man. Thank you for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. As usual, I want to thank everybody for tuning in, watching this episode. Um, make sure, like I said, make sure you follow the OG Two Cents podcast. Uh, that's on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and Anchor. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, follow me on social media at OG King Kirk. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also follow the OG Two Cents podcast on social media. And that's the OG Two Cents podcast on Facebook, Instagram. And on Twitter, it's just OG Two Cents podcast. Uh, so make sure you follow. Keep up uh, with the latest news that's going on with the podcast. Uh, go to www.ogkingkirk.com for everything OG King Kirk and the podcast. Um, subscribe uh, to the OG King Kirk YouTube channel. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to be putting out some content on that channel uh, away from the podcast, some different things, uh, OG thoughts and stuff like that. So make sure uh, you subscribe to that channel as well. Uh, shout out to my team, Strider Visuals, Cy Evermore, box graphic and matrix uh truly appreciate them guys uh make sure you tune in uh to esports extra every saturday and sunday 4 p.m on the black news channel uh that's what hosts larry ridley the crew uh coach k durbin Royal, antonio williams brandon bell and the queen of esports extra kelly wells brinkley and that's every Saturday and Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Black News Channel. Um, and follow Esports Extra on Twitter, at Esports Extra, and that's extra, just capital X-T-R-A. Uh, we talk traditional sports, esports, culture, gaming, you name it. So make sure you check it out. Um, make sure, uh, if you're looking for OG King Kurt, and uh, podcast apparel, make sure you go to www.skulls.com slash OG King Kurt and get your OG King Kurt and podcast gear and merch. Uh, at this point, if you're uh, OG 15%, gets you 15% off of uh, whatever you order. Uh, so make sure how uh, you check it out. I mean, anything uh, you want, uh, you name it, you can get your own custom jerseys. We got phone covers, hoodies, T-shirts, joggers, uh, you name it. Uh, we got it. So um, make sure you check that out. We truly appreciate it. Make sure you tune in next week's episode. And remember, if it makes sense, it's an OG two cents. OG out. Put this work in, fellas. And much, much, much love to the entire 2K community for always showing me love. Without y'all, we wouldn't be here. Yeah, yeah.